All right, a couple quick examples of calculating the amplitude and period of some trigonometric functions. So first, let's think about finding the amplitude of each one of these. So the amplitude is gonna be given by this number out in front. What we need to do is we need to take the absolute value of that number. So the absolute value of three, we're just gonna make it positive, keep it positive in this case, and it's gonna be three. And this other one though, because it's negative, we're gonna actually make that positive. Um, so what this is gonna indicate is our graph is gonna oscillate in between um, positive three and negative three for our sine function, positive eight and negative eight for our cosine function. All right, next thing we wanna do is calculate the period. So the period is always calculated by using the original period and then dividing by whatever B is. So I'm gonna indicate this number in here um, being multiplied by our X is gonna be the B. So in our case, the original period for both sine and cosine is two pi. And then we just need to divide by that number that's multiplied on the inside. A little bit of simplifying down here and we get pi over five. Whereas in this other one with our cosine function, again, the original period for cosine is two pi. We're gonna divide it by one over six with doing a little bit of multiplying by the reciprocal, multiplying by six over one, we can say it's gonna be 12 pi for the period of this cosine function, uh, meaning that it's gonna take from zero all the way until 12 pi before this starts repeating itself, meaning that it's gonna be six times uh, larger the period for this function as opposed to just cosine of x. All right, hope this helps on figuring out periods and amplitudes.